people of Shila adapted Buddhism as their basic ideology. The patriotic nature of Shila Buddhism was the result of union between the tradition of military arts and Buddhism. As one might expect, the military arts of the warrior using bare hands were often depicted in Buddhist artistry. The most famous example is the grand Inwang image at the entrance of Sokuram Grotto. The pose of the Inwang image, which shows the symbolic posture of Shila's bare-handed fighting, is represented in today's Kungang posture. Martial arts of Koguryo, Hekche, and Shila greatly affected neighboring countries. Hekche's Saurabi became the origin of Japanese samurai, and Koguryo's Sirum became Japanese sumo. The record of bare handed fighting is first found in the history of Koryo under the name of Subak. Obyong Subaku was a group competition that could be used in actual combat situations and people could gain a chance to climb up the social ladder through it. However, Subak, which mainly used hands, was practiced primarily by the ruling class, whereas common people enjoyed taekyun. To those commoners who could not possess any arms, taekyun, which used powerful kicks, was more practical and effective than using just bare hands. <laughs> Korea warrior Yi Sung-gye founded the Chosun dynasty so the tradition of Koryo's martial arts passed down to Chosun times. Subak was considered important, so skill in it was a deciding factor in selecting soldiers. The government often selected those who were proficient at Subak. The common record of martial arts written during King Chengzhou's reign used 225 Korean, Chinese, and Japanese books as references to summarize and develop the martial arts of the East one step further. The common record of martial arts lists 24 kinds of martial arts that include spearmanship, swordmanship, martial arts using bare hands, and martial arts on horseback. China and Japan all exchange characteristics of their own martial arts with each other. According to Mubichi, Ming's book on martial arts, there is a record that the swordmanship which was not passed down in China was sought in Chosun and was called the Chosun swordmanship. Yedo, the swordmanship found in the common record of martial arts, is the Chosun swordmanship which was recorded in Mubichi. Chosun created improved martial arts combining the best characteristics from China's martial arts and Korea's. However, the martial arts recorded in the common record of martial arts differ from today's Taekwondo in that they mainly used hands. The tradition of Taekwondo has been passed down through Suba, which mainly uses hands, and Taekyun, which mainly uses feet. The Heidong Jukchi Chronicle, which was published in 1920, describes Taekyun as follows. In the old custom called Kaksur, people kick and try to knock each other down. 
those who are not good at Taekyung kick the opponent's legs. Those who are good at Taekyung kick the opponent's shoulder. And those who have superb skills kick the opponent's top knot. The splendid footwork of Taekwondo, its effective and practical nature, and its characteristic as a sport that the audience can enjoy, all originate from the fact that Taekwondo is the traditional martial art of this nation. When Joseon was occupied by Japan, Korea's martial arts faced a dark age. Japan forced Korea to venerate its Shinto temples and took away Korea's language to erase Korean spirit. It oppressed those who were training in traditional martial arts and imposed Japanese martial arts such as Kendo and Judo. Korea's traditional martial arts entered a new era when the nation was liberated in 1945. Under the Japanese occupation, Korea's traditional martial arts were in danger of losing their traditions. Since karate was forced on them, some training methods from karate were introduced. That is why the bare-handed fighting was called tangsu or kungsu, which is the Korean way of saying karate. Training was introduced that dealt mainly with hands rather than feet. However, the effort to restore the traditional martial arts continued. Song duk and Shin han Song, who had maintained the tradition of Taekyung, did their part to restore the traditional martial arts. Through this process, the foundation of modern Taekwondo was prepared.